Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, look at that with that fogs in the mountains back there. Ooh, that's beautiful when it does that. But anyway, welcome to Tuesday, the 2nd of November. It was uh, 43 degrees this morning. So way warmer than it's been <laughs> here lately. It's been some kind of cool out here. But anyway, it's nice. It's not rainy. 40, I think it's like 45 now. That's not a, that's not cold this time of year. That's a, that's a good day. <laughs> All right, let's start off a Tuesday. Well, mama, I don't think cold. not even once did I touch them windshield wipers. No, she's all cloudy, but it's yeah. not falling. It's completely dry all the way here. Yep. People were sane, somewhat sane yeah. on the freeway. Cool. <laughs> well, Mama, it's a hug. I think we need to start off a Tuesday. What you reckon? I think so. All righty. All well, right. you have a wonderful day. You too, honey. And uh, we'll see you in the passings, as the right. old saying goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love okay. you. See you. Bye, there, I Mama. I love you, babe. Bye, bye. Bye. So I'm back on this today, updating my old iPhone. Or, I mean, uh, iPad Pro. 10.5, I don't even remember what the heck they called that thing. It's been a while. Get it all up to snuff. Getting iOS 15.1 put on it. I need it for uh, some uh, trance, just some things that work better on an iPad. And uh, that one just is in my camera bag. Anyway, going back together with this, I submitted a long case file thing with photos and stuff of this thing to BMW see what they think I've got all the the pins on both throttle bodies I think I was showing you guys the right no it was the left hand one yesterday maybe it was the right hand side I don't remember where I was uh, so luckily the DME is very easy to get to they want uh, those pins cleaned as well everything linking and what goes to um, to the throttle bodies is coming directly from the DME. The uh, fly-by-wire throttle gives information to the DME, calculates all the stuff, and then sends it to the throttle body. So they want those cleaned as well. But you know, I was I was talking about the um, uh, carbon or not carbon, but it looks like old dead fuel um, in both cylinders, and there was a little bit of like etching like the fuel had built up and where the throttle body pivots in here it was etching a little bit so i sent him pictures of all that and see what y'all think on that i think the air conditioner is on it's nice out here i don't know what the temperature is outside but it's it's nice i don't know why it'd be coming on at 68 degrees it's probably all the lights in here probably triggered it but He's got the, well, I can show you what it's like all together. He has these guards going over the throttle bodies. I, I mean, that's not protecting the, uh, um, injector because the plastic, I, maybe it does some, but I don't know. It looks good on here. Got a little bit of wires going here and there. That's going to his running lights which are crazy bright with those yellow filters he has on them those are those uh clear waters is that right clear waters yeah them suckers are bright really nice aluminum boss switch to turn them on and off and it looks like he's got them hardwired to the battery hopefully there's a fuse really close to the battery being a kit like that i'm sure it is love these engine guards and they're really nice to take off during a service. They come off really easily. It's very nicely done. He's got the Touratech um, engine guard, body guards, tank guard, whatever, frame guard. I think they refer to them as a body guard up here, maybe a frame guard, that the GSAs come with those. They're a little, a little tight and hard to get the, the covers off, especially when you got the, um, stainless steel outside you gotta be very careful taking them off because you can you can scuff them 
So you just leave a microfiber in between the two when you slide them out, but they're really tight. And then he's dropped it on this side. And uh, looks like it, I don't know, it's so smooth. It, obviously it was just a tip over. But anyway, it kind of moved everything over. So this side is closer, but there's enough flex in it. I can, I can bow it out and slide the body panels in there without having to take them off. To do a valve adjustment, you have to take them off. Just this ground screw for the uh, for the uh, coil wire, going to the coil stick, it's almost impossible to get that screw out of there. And to get the valve cover off, it's gotta be anyway uh, off anyway. So to do that, you're pretty much taking it all apart. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And stock ones are designed to come off in a way that, you know, it's really quick to get to everything. Of course, all the bolts and everything go perfectly straight when they're OEM stuff. But BMW does not make these guards for the GSs. They make the engine guards. Um, the GSA, again, comes with them. I don't know what the deal is. This is that one of those crate damage ones. All the stuff came in for the S1000RR. That thing sold. And good Lord. That guy's probably about due for second service or something by now. But I know there were some parts back ordered or something there. We've already got a couple of 22 GSAs. I think I mentioned that once before. They were low chassis with low seats. And uh, the color, I mean, literally, you had to tell me it was a 22, that I'd know it was a 22. They're literally identical. They were, uh, the one I was looking at was the Rally. I don't remember. I think the other one was a triple black. Anyway going back together on this and waiting for a reply from BMW they may want me to run that fancy thing that I showed you guys when I was doing it on that S1000R that was all carboned up they may want me to run that system through it where it's a special cleaner if you ever get the cleaner oh, there it is right there if you go to a BMW dealer and you're looking for the gas treatment thing do not buy this. This is for the tool. It says right on there not to be sold to customers. You need to use the customer version of it because that's that stuff's designed to be, you know, uh, there's it's mixed with gas in a tube, pressurized, and that becomes your fuel pump because you're not running the bike's fuel pump. You're using this canister that's got air fed to it. It's, it's a special tool. But they make a really good uh, fuel system cleaner. There's a part number if you guys can sort that out. That's the one you use. It's a cleaner. And uh, I think it's got a really good uh, fuel treatment thing. Uh, gas stabilizer type of thing in there too. Good stuff. Nice bottle too. Nothing nicer than a bottle you can actually pour in the tank without a funnel. <laughs> All right. Up Joel jacking about this thing today. Let me get back on her. That's a serious quantity of pins to clean right there, isn't it? Old Ma Bell switchboard didn't have that many pins on it back in the day. But I just need to go to, I'll probably just, it'd be easier to just go all the way through it. But I need to go specifically to the pins that relate to the throttle bodies. That's pretty wild though, huh? Ah, uh, dang. So apparently there's something on there that you can't even see. And whatever weird stuff is in that little cleaning brush takes that off. It's magic. So I got finished up with this thing a while back. I'm talking to spider customers cool uh long time bmw customers buying himself a spider and uh that's kind of cool I was up there he's getting some accessories and stuff for it which is awesome but i didn't hear back from uh sarah which is used to be puma it's the dealer connect thing that we uh we chit chat back and forth about technical stuff I didn't hear back from, I don't want to put all the body work on there if they decide they want me to run that cleaner 
to it through it because air box and all that stuff has to come off to do that and uh we're gonna go from there oh you know what if they do want that off releasing those clips these are reusable clips they're the coolest things ever it's a special tool they're actually clips by Odeker. so i guess you could call them Odeker clamps <laughs> how tight am i on this side even tighter yet and then there's a weird how these go into the air box is kind of strange they don't they don't just pop out of there real easy oh well but anyway i'm not going to put all the body work back on it if they want me to do that i don't know i don't think anything's bad enough that verifying he's got fresh fuel in here now you verify it is you dump it and put fresh in there and treat it with that bmw cleaner and treater and uh let her roll i think it's just uh i don't think the guy is, is riding it far enough he's I, I don't know how far he rides it each time but you know for the amount of time and the low miles you know most of these things get ridden a whole lot more and like i was talking you know, i did that to myself once i didn't treat the or I obviously didn't or forgot to treat the DR and it smelt all funky. But uh, it's best to get it out before you you run it. And you definitely, definitely, the old, you know, 10 mile rule, 9.3. What's funny is BMW says 9.3 and so does BRP. But try to, where are they coming up with the 9.3? Take 9.3 and convert at that into kilometers. Doesn't make any sense. So who and why and where do they come up with this 9.3 miles it's just easy i just tell customers make sure you go 10 miles it's a big motor it takes a bit to, to heat them up and well it's not the heating up they heat up fairly quick but it takes that long to burn all the moisture content that's created in the engine and um like on the bmws it vents right back in comes back in and circulates it through the through the engine so it doesn't go out in the environment now what you do after you purchase one of these things if you want to eliminate something like that you can but still you need to get all that condensation out of the motor all of it don't uh don't risk i mean oils are really really good nowadays but i don't want any more steering in my motor you can do what you want and if you don't work on your own stuff that could be quite costly to you. Pretty cool motorcycles, those things, aren't they? That's a lot of stuff. That ain't just your regular old motorcycle like the old days. She's got a lot of technology in there. And Germans, boy, they are smart. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got about... 40 minutes left of the day here i need to conjure up something else to do here for for a little bit and uh we'll be heading home here for too long you know it's really messed up about this time next week it will be dark right now you'll be surprised how dark it is when we start to leave and you're gonna roll that back an hour so it's what Four, 425 roughly out here right now this would be the equivalent of 525 yeah buddy and it'll just keep getting short and shorter and shorter but you know what's funny it's done that every year I've been alive and it's done that every year way before I've been alive not the whole daylight savings time switching back and forth but winter's winter summer's summer Drizzling rain out there too. Mama? It's a hug. This is not going to be a pleasing drive home. Nope. This is going to be less than. Yeah. Well, at least for now, it's not in total darkness. This is true. A week from now, it will be a whole nother crying story. I know. We will cry lots. <laughs> yeah. That's sketchy and scary. Yeah. 
is people don't slow down. There's so many drivers just don't know it's dangerous to go that fast in the rain. There's yeah. and the door. And that's how you end up with those four and a half, five hour drives home. Yeah, there was a massive pile up. Yep. Alright. Alright. Let's uh let's attack it. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> We need to put them animals on a starvation diet. <laughs> so we finally figured out what this massive complex is going to be. It's going to be a U-Haul storage thing, of all things. I heard a train honking over there. That's the main tracks right before. You can see that bridge going over? It's the main tracks on this side. Heck yeah. Is that not a pleasing sound or what? Yeah. Another stop at the old tree actor. Our lights have been messed up for a while. Yeah. I mean, that light's just been missing since, geez, last year, I think. I Looks kind of sad out there. I know. All right. Oh. Well, let's head home Ooh. then, Mama. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello there, you two. It was as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was pretty bad. The drive home, that yeah. is. Very, very God. Good. Ah, whew. That's crazy. I can't see nothing out there. And then and that's just annoying. You going down the back roads and this whole thing, you can only go so fast, you know, just because it's old. Yes. You need to get people with modern cars and LEDs just beaming at you. That's well, it's hard yeah. to see. All you see is this yellow in front of you and it's right, old right. sloppy car, you know, you don't want to go some, I go speed limit or slightly over, but they want to go way faster than that. They have to learn some patience because yeah, the we smokes were here stuff. long before you. It's all these yeah. new houses past us that are being yeah. built with the traffic. It's like when you hear us doing a goodbye, all them years of just silence and now it just sounds like a freeway out there yeah it's crazy definitely a lot more traffic yeah all them woods they knock down people putting houses up left and right yeah quiet little areas not quite yeah, so quiet she's losing her quietness yeah but luckily for whatever reason in the summertime the people aren't out yeah. and about it seems like it's the winter time that it gets the worst yeah but anyway I think on that, we'll roll on out on you guys. Oh. Get the dogs and stuff. All they, that good stuff. They're at that, moment, that point, they're getting kind of quiet. Yeah, the barks kind of, are like are much coming? slower. Are, they not are we in trouble? Did we do something wrong? <laughs> Sasha and Annie look at each other. Was it you? No. Oh, was it you? <laughs> I didn't they're mad. That. They're not getting out of the car. <laughs> That's it. We're going to have to stay here forever. Yep. Freezing this rain. Oh, no. All right. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. Hump day already I tomorrow. Know it. Half our way. Yeah. At the end of the day, halfway. Yay. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Now. See you in the morning. Bye bye.